here. Um, for those of you who've not heard on the Potchrigley News, um, sadly, um, our new vicar, Reverend Lynn, is poorly today, so she's not been able to join us, which is why you've, you've got me uh, standing in today. So you've, you've not gone completely mad if you were expecting to see Lynn and, and not me. Uh, that, that's what's happened. So, um, yeah, so Lynn is absolutely devastated that she couldn't be with us this morning because uh, this would have been her first, first Sunday service, but um, God obviously had other plans. Um, so we just, we pray that um, she's, she's mending and uh, is taking some time to recover. But we do have Simon, so thank you, Lord, uh, that, uh, that Lynn has uh, been able to, to spare Simon from looking after her. Um, so Simon has kindly um, come to play the keyboards today which is fantastic because sadly quite a few of the rest of our church family have also got COVID. So we were, we were down at a keyboard player with, uh, with David uh, being, being poorly as well. So, um, yeah, so I, I, I'm conscious that, you know, we're, we're quite a, a, few, a few down today and we, we really do pray for, uh, for everybody's recovery. Um, in Lynn's absence, she has sent um, a, short, a short video so um, when Rick is ready, we're just going to play Lynn's video. Thank you. Well, good morning, everyone, and a very happy Mothering Sunday. I hope you're all having fun and that the children are enjoying themselves. And we're thinking about our mothers today. This isn't the way I wanted to say hello this morning. I wanted to be there in person to give a big thank you to everyone who's done so much to get the house ready, get everything ready for us to be here with you. And for all the work that happened on Wednesday to have such a wonderful service um, as I was installed and licensed. I noticed so many people working so hard. But as I tested positive for COVID, it's just been decided it's best if I stay at home and not pass it on any more than it already has been passed on. I'm sorry for all those who've caught COVID um, over these last few days. I want to also thank you to Anne for stepping in uh, at this last moment and she will be leading you well this morning. Um, just to reassure you, Simon's playing there this morning. He hasn't caught COVID, uh, so he's clear. But I send you my love and look forward to being with you next week um, and being starting, starting again. Um, with a new slate, hopefully much better. So thank you for your prayers and for your love. Thank you. Now, I'm hoping that Lynn is watching the stream. So um, if you're able, could you all turn around and wave at the camera and, uh, and just say hello? Thank you. I'm sure uh, we'll give, be able to give Lynn a really warm welcome when she's, uh, she's better. I'm very conscious that this isn't the service that Lynn has planned because um, we've, we've changed. She'd got a really fabulous service uh, sorted for today. Um, so, so we're not doing that because uh, we couldn't just sort of pick that up and, and it was her service. So we've, um, we've, we've changed things a bit, but I think, have we still got the hymns that you and, and Lynn had chosen, Sheila? Yeah. So at least as we join together today in our worship and praise, we will still know that, you know, we've, uh, we've got those uh, super, super hymns. And it's still Mothering Sunday. Um, and, uh, and thank you, Lord, that we can still join together in uh, worship and praise uh, this morning. So let's, let's greet each other. And, well, thank you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you Amen. and also with you. Praise God who loves us. Praise God who cares. And we're going to start our worship in a, a really proper way now by, um, by singing our first hymn. And our first hymn is Come Down, O Love Divine. So as the music starts, if you're able, do please join me in standing and let's sing together.
do please sit down. <coughs> And let's pray. So we say together, Living Lord, fill us with your life-giving, joy-giving, peace-giving presence, that we may praise you now with our lips and all the day long with our lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And as we meet together this morning, we have um, an opportunity to bring before God the things that we have perhaps thought or said or done that we think we perhaps shouldn't have done, that we're not proud of from um, the, the last week or so. So as we meet together today, let's just spend a, a just at a moment, just having a, a think and bringing those to God. Let us call to mind our sin, our failure to value the love of others, and our failure to love as Christ has loved us. Your love gives us life from the moment of conception. We fail to live as your children. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You call us to do good. We seek our own good. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You hear us when we cry for help. And we ignore the cries of others. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. And we declare God's love and forgiveness. May God, who loved the world so much that he sent his Son to be our Saviour, forgive us our sins and make us holy to serve him in the world. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. I'm going to invite Tom uh, to come for our Bible reading. Thank you. Today's Bible reading is from the Gospel of John, chapter, nine, uh, chapter 19, verses 25 to 27. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother, his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother there and the disciple whom he loved standing nearby, he said to her, Woman, here is your son. And to the disciple, here is your mother. From that time on, this disciple took her into his home. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you, Tom. Um, we're going to sing again now. And um, this is, I love this song that uh, has been chosen. So we're going to sing Jesus Put This Song. Um, so if you would like to stand as the music starts, then please join with me in singing Jesus Put This Song. Thank you.
Brilliant. Thank you, everybody. Do please sit down. I, I love the words of, of that song and the way it, it really speeds up as well. It's, uh, it's very uplifting, I, I think. <coughs> So, can anybody remind me what day it is today? Apart from being the 19th of March, which is um, one of my friend's birthday today. Go on. It, pardon? It's, it's Mother's Day. Yes, that's right. We sometimes call it Mother's Day and sometimes we call it Mothering Sunday. So, either, either works. Um, and today is the day that we remember and give thanks for our mums and also those others who love and care for us. It's also a time to remember that God is like a mother to us. He loves and cares for us. And for those of you who are familiar with, uh, with Godly Play, um, we have um, a, a Lord's Prayer story. Um, and in, in that Lord's Prayer story, we use the image of a mother hen gathering chicks under her wings for protection and warmth and and I think that's quite a, a good image to use for uh, for God our father in in that uh, in that context now I thought we'd have a quick quiz this morning those of you who know me really well know I'm not a particular fan of quizzes but my husband Steve and Tom love them okay so I sit through quite a lot of quizzes but I thought I'd treat you to one this morning so to get you warmed up Hands up if you've ever had a mum. Okay? So that, that should have been everyone. Did you put your hand up then, Andy? Yeah, good. And I, I wasn't quite looking up, up then, so yeah, yeah. So yeah, all, all of us have had a, a mum at some point in our lives. Hand up, hands up, if you think your mum is a star. Just checking, yeah. <laughs> Can anybody tell me why they think their mum is a star? Anyone want to put their hand up? Thank you. Thank you, Joanne. That's lovely. So, jo Joanne said her mum's a star because she's always looking after other people. Throughout the time when Joanne was growing up, mum looked after um, Joanne and the two, two brothers. Gosh, that's, uh, yeah, some undertaking. And she's always looked after other people. And now that's transferred and she's looking after her granddaughter, Rose, as well. So, thank you very much for that. Anybody else brave enough to say why they think their mum might be a star. Irene. My mum always loved me. And she always gave me lots of support and brought me up to love God. So Irene's saying um, your mum always gave you lots of love and support and brought Irene up to know and love God as well. So that's uh, Irene's mum who's a star. Anybody, anybody else? Mum's being a star? Are you, no? What, you, nothing like putting somebody on the spot, is there? repeat any of that yeah so there are there are lots of star mums here today and I'm sure if I've not if you've not put your hand up then you might well be thinking of something so as I say there are lots of star mums here today and there's certainly some star mums watching on the stream at home or I hope there are um, my mum being one of them so I'm hoping that you're watching mum you are a star and happy Mother's Day um, there are lots of star mums in the Bible too so, proper quiz now, okay. Um, I've, I've selected five 
of those star mums in the Bible. Um, and so I'm going to ask you some questions. I'd got, um, I'd got a, a star, um, which I don't know whether, yeah. And it had, it had five, it was a five point star. So that's why I've, I've selected uh, five rather than uh, six. So yeah, thanks Rick, that can, yeah. Okay, so number one, if you can answer, if you, if you know the answer, please put your hand up. Okay, this mum was the very first mum of all. And it's a hard job doing things for the first time. So perhaps she didn't always get it right. Can we think, who was this? Sally, you've got your hand up. It was, it was Eve. Point to Sally, well done Sally, okay. Um, question number two. This mum left her home when she was very old, even older than me, and travelled with her husband, Abraham, to a new place. She found out she was pregnant when she was about 80 years old. Oh my goodness. And she was so surprised, she laughed. Any, any takers? Oh, Audrey, it is, it's Sarah. We sometimes know her as Sarah to start with, don't we? Thank you. Point to Audrey. The uh, Meachams and Winstanleys are doing pretty well here. Okay. Question number three. This person was the mum of John the Baptist. Sandy. Elizabeth. Yeah. Question number four. This mum wanted a baby so badly, she prayed and prayed to God. And when she did have a son, she called him Samuel. And she gave him back, she dedicated him back to God, and he was brought up in the temple. And it, uh, Sally's got a hand up, so she's first on the buzzer. Uh, oh, Yvonne's got a hand up as well, so I'm, I'm going to pass this to Yvonne. It was, it was Hannah, yes, thank you. And question number five, this is our last question. Okay, I know I'm taxing you this morning. I think this is a pretty easy one. We celebrate the birth of this mum's baby at Christmas time. <laughs> go, is it Luke? Yeah, go on, Luke. Mary, fantastic, thank you, well done. I think, can we give everybody a round of applause for... Well done. You obviously know your Bible stories pretty well, so that's, that's good. So lots of star mums. I've only picked out five. There were lots of star mums in the, in the Bible. All different. None of them were perfect, but they all gave love and all were loved by God. Most of us have fond memories of mums, grandmums, and others who look after and care for us. And I recognise that today may bring sad or painful memories for some of us too. But if you're able today, I do hope that you get the opportunity to tell or demonstrate to some of those people who've cared for you at one time in your life how much you love and appreciate them. In our Bible passage today that Tom read from uh, John 19, we were reminded that Jesus displayed love and concern for his mother, even as his time of death approached. So on this Mothering Sunday, we do have the opportunity of sharing these qualities of love and kindness with others, just as we receive love, kindness and forgiveness from God. And God is like the best mother or father to us. I was reminded of how great love is in my Bible reading this morning. I had a verse from uh, 1 Corinthians, which says, Love never gives up, never loses faith, is always hopeful, and endures through every circumstance. So in closing, may the grace of Christ Jesus bless our mothers, and all those he places in our lives to care for us, as we remember that God is good all of the time, and all of the time, God is good. Amen. Amen.
And we're going to turn to our third hymn now, which is Lord, I Come Before You. So, is this a, an organ or a... No, it's, it's one of these, right? Okay, I'm, I'm not sure what... Uh, yeah, so as uh, Simon and, and Tom um, start playing, let's please stand and let's sing together. Thank you. Thank you. If you're able, just remain standing. If you prefer to sit, that's, that's fine. It's the time in our service when we um, affirm our faith. That means we, we, we remind ourselves, we say what we believe in. Okay, it's an affirmation of faith. It's a, a posh way of saying that. So let us declare our faith in God. We believe in God the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named. We believe in God the Son, who lives in our hearts through faith and fills us with his love. We believe in God the Holy Spirit, who strengthens us with power from on high. We believe in one God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Amen. Do please sit, and I'm going to ask Pam to come out and lead us in prayer. Thank you, Pam. Father God, we thank you this morning for mothers around the world and for the care they give their children. We offer our support and prayers for their lives to be blessed and for families to flourish. Loving God, we give thanks for all who care for us, who have encouraged us and helped us grow, who have forgiven us and cared for us when we were unwell, 
who have supported us when times were hard, who have challenged us, who have told us about you. Nurturing God, we give you thanks. Loving Lord, we pray for all who stand in the gap when immediate family are absent, who mother and father the needy child, give care and support to the struggling parent, companionship to the lonely and aged. Loving Lord, as you welcome us into your family, help us to be ever ready to extend our family circle, to welcome those in need of family love. Lord, in your mercy. Amen. Heavenly Father, we bring before you the needs of our world, our nation and our community. We continue to pray for the people of Turkey and Syria who are still trying to come to terms with the loss of family, friends, accommodation, livelihoods and security. We ask that all those involved in the clearing up process and the rebuilding of homes, schools and workplaces will act with integrity and comply with the necessary regulations. We pray that the essential practical and emotional support will be provided to all who have been traumatised by events, both now and in the longer term. We intercede for people who are persecuted for their faith and cannot meet openly to worship you or to have fellowship with other believers, which we can so easily take for granted. Please keep them safe and faithful to you. We ask for your blessing on those who have followed your call to serve you abroad in various areas of mission, including the Fazakalis in Malawi and the Maclean's in Bangkok, along with their children. We pray for those who translate the Bible for language groups around the world and teach the people they serve to read and to understand it. May your Holy Spirit open their hearts and minds to enable them to come to know you as they hear and read your word in their mother tongue for the first time. Lord, in your mercy. We thank you, Father, for bringing Reverend Lynn and Simon to St. Christopher's, and we ask you to bless and guide them as they settle in. We pray that each one of us will grow in our knowledge and love of you and in our fellowship with one another as Lynn ministers to us and to the wider community. We pray for all who are unwell at this time, including members of our congregation who have COVID, for those waiting for surgery or other treatment, and for those recovering from illness. We lift to you all who are grieving and who are finding it so difficult to adjust to life without their loved one. Please prompt us to know when practical help or a listening ear is needed. God, with a mother's heart, you gather us as your children. You comfort and hold us in your warm embrace. When we hurt, your arms enfold us. When we are afraid, your wings protect us. When we are hungry, you feed us with the bread of life. God, with a mother's heart, your love surrounds and supports us in good times and tough, in the midst of joy and pain, always and everywhere. You will never leave nor abandon us. God, eternal and loving one, God, with a mother's heart, we thank you this day for being part of your family. Merciful Father, Accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Pam. And gathering our prayers into one, let's say together the prayer that, <clears throat> that Jesus taught us. We know it is the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, 
as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Thank you. Now, we've come to a um, part of our service, which I always love. I, I love, love our service, actually, but, you know, it's, it's a, a, big, a big bit for me. When we celebrate birthdays. Now, I'm just going to have to swap sheets with Tom. Um, thank you. I had a, a bit of a printer error this morning, and I realised as we started our service that I'd uh, not got the top of my uh, service sheet here this morning, but... Uh, Anyway, I'm, I'm back on mine with my crib sheeting. Um, so, if you've got um, a birthday between now, which is the 19th of March, and um, our next family service, now, anybody know when our next family service is? Is it Easter Sunday? Is that our next family service, or are we having one the, 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 the week after? Okay. So I think it might be uh, something like the 16th of April. So if you've got a birthday between today and the... Is it the 16th, David? Easter Sunday's the 9th. Yeah, right, OK, thank you. I can see you counting then. Um, so if you have a birthday between today and the 16th of April... Put your hand up really high. I can see that Louise has got her hand up really high, although not from her own doing. Thank you, Isaac. OK. Uh, at the back there, and I was going to read out Joan. We've got Ian and Jill. Yeah, we've got quite a few of you. So I've got some birthday cards. Now, because we're a bit sort of COVID-y at the moment, I'm not getting people to run around with our birthday cards today. So I will clock who you are. And I'll um, make sure that you get a birthday card at the end of the service, OK? But in the meantime, we're all going to sing happy birthday to you, as well as to John, who's not here today, uh, Reg, who again isn't here, <coughs> Alex, whose birthday is Easter Sunday, I think, is it? Yeah, OK. And, uh, and Dorothy, um, who've all got birthdays uh, before... Uh, for the next family service so we're going to sing to you if it is your birthday and you've just had your hand up I'd like you to wave really really high so that we all know who we're singing to okay so are you guys playing right and singing that's brilliant okay let's sing happy birthday <laughs> Happy birthday to you. and uh, we'll try and remember to wish you happy birthday on the day, but do, do come and get a birthday card from me at the end of the service. Um, now, as... Is it Lara? Yeah? As Lara reminded us, it's Mothering Sunday today, so we don't just celebrate birthdays, we're celebrating it being Mothering Sunday. And um, we've got some flowers, um, which uh, Sandy has kindly... Um, uh, given us and uh, and I think Ed Ed helped in the in the flower collection so um <coughs> so we've got some um daffodil poses for everybody to to take home we're going to just have a, a prayer um uh, for our, our flowers um and uh, for, for those receiving them um but I'm going to ask that um you collect flowers and we'll put them in the porch. So as you, as you leave today's service, if you would like to uh, collect some flowers. And Sandy tells me there's loads. So if you know of somebody who's not been able to come today or you've, you've got somebody at home, then do please take some for them as well. Um, because we would, uh, we would love for people to receive the flowers that have been uh, prepared for us. So... <coughs> 
we have a, a, a prayer of, of blessing. Bless, O Lord Jesus, these gifts of flowers, that they may be channels of your love, imparting joy to those who give and those who receive. And we pray that all children and parents united in you may ever follow your example in loving words and deeds to your honour and glory now and forever. Amen. I'm going to put those down there. And let's just say together um, the words of the following prayer in thanks. <clears throat> Thank you, God, for the love of our mothers. Thank you, God, for their care and concern. And thank you, God, for the joys they have shared with us. Thank you, God, for all that they give us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And for those of you in church, when you got here this morning, you should have been given a, um, a, news, a news sheet. Um, there's plenty, plenty on it. Um, and um, there's some notices and dates for your diary. If you're not in church and are watching on the stream, I appreciate you, you can't read if I'm just read the notices, if I'm just holding them up like that. So I'm hoping that David might post them on our Spice WhatsApp group uh, later today. Thank you, David. Um, we've uh, just, just a couple of highlights. Um, there's, um, we've got Easter approach, fast approaching. And I think um, Sheila has said that she's happy to order. She looks a bit surprised now I've mentioned her name. Um, she's happy to help people order some meaningful chocolate company Easter eggs. So if you want to find out more about that, please see Sheila after the service or give her a call or, or send her a, a message. Um, Catherine Arnott is making chocolate truffles, which she made at Christmas. I believe they were hugely tasty. So um, if anybody wants to purchase those from her, please contact uh, Francis um, in good time, uh, on or before the 2nd of April to avoid disappointment. Um, and um, Kath um, has asked that we um, publicise and remind people that we've got a Good Friday curry night is back. That's going to be on Good Friday, um, which is um, the 7th of April. It's going to be in the Viceroy, and advance booking is needed, please. So if you want to uh, take part in the Good Friday curry, please let Kath or Duncan know and uh, pay them up front. Is that right, Duncan? Thank you. Okay. Um, so, yeah, and there's prayer points and other, other useful things, so please take your new sheet with you. We don't want them left in the pews. Um, we've also got um, a bands of, of marriage today. So, um, I'm just going to read the bands of marriage for Michael Jonathan Eaton of St George's Stockport with a connection to Potshrigley Church, and Sylvia Coleman of St John's High Lee, also with a connection to this church. This is for the first time of asking, and if any of you know a reason in law why these persons may not marry each other, you are to declare it now. Shall we just pray for Michael and Sylvia? Heavenly Father, we give thanks for couples wanting to come and get married. And we pray especially for Michael and Sylvia as they prepare for their, their marriage. Lord, we pray that you bless them richly. And um, we give thanks for them, Lord, and uh, pray for their future together. In Jesus' name, amen. And we're going to have our final hymn now, uh, which is also our offertory hymn. 
So this is Lord Jesus Christ. Are you playing this, Mary? Yeah, okay. See, I got that bit right. That's fine. Okay. So let's 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 stand uh, together if you're able, and let's sing Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Mary. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gifts which you provide. Lord, I pray that uh, they will be spent wisely, and uh, we ask for your blessing on them. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thank you. Do please sit down. (coughs) So, as our service comes to an end, do... Do please remember the words of that last hymn. That they're just really, really powerful. So if you get opportunity, look them up. But just, just have a, a read through them and, and just remember them. But um, this, uh, we're going to close with our blessing. May God, who gave birth to all creation, bless us. May God, who became incarnate by an earthly mother, bless us. May God, who broods as a mother over her children, bless us. May Almighty God bless us and those we love and pray for. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. Thank you.